Hey everybody, this is Vanessa DeBerle and welcome to my channel where you can learn how to turn your passions into profit. Every week I put out videos and showing you tips and tricks and different ways that you can get seen on YouTube, create your YouTube channel and help it to grow. And I have discovered an algorithm hack that I was not aware of. And when I did a little bit of research, I found that a lot of people aren't using this. So stick around and find out what you can do to help grow your channel. So I was using my Camtasia program and I noticed that it was set for 30 FP. So I did a little bit of research and just Googled, how do I change it back to 60 FP? When I did the search, this is what came up. Camtasia 2018 export in 60 FPS. Well, I just thought I'd have to watch the whole video. Well, look down here. It shows me exactly on the video where I need to get that information. And I started thinking, hmm, that was a very specific question that I asked and it didn't just pop up the whole video. It went in and gave me a little clip. Um, so I started researching thinking, well, what is this? And I, so I did a little bit more research and I looked up timestamps because I had heard of those before. And I found out that those little chapters that are cut up along the top, the bottom of the video are called timestamps. So I looked that up and even then I could see that some of the videos to answer my specific question had spots or key moments in their video where I could just click in and get that information. So I, then I went and looked at different influencers to see if they were using timestamps. Some of them were, many of them weren't. I was really, really surprised. This is what a timestamp is. As you can see here, the name of this is how do videos get views on YouTube with zero subscribers? Well, if you go into the description of any video, sometimes you're going to see down here where they have timestamps. I always thought this was something that was there to help me figure out what I wanted to know in the video and then just go to that spot, which you can do that. And this one's kind of set up like that. She says how the incubation period works, how the algorithm recommends videos to your viewers. So she's answering specific questions, but those might not be specific searches that people would put in unless they knew about it. So while this is a good timestamp to help you figure out what's in the video, I would suggest if you were to make a timestamp, maybe look at, maybe make it look something like this. Think of your timestamp as a keyword search. YouTube will go in and they look at your titles, they look at your thumbnails, they listen to your video and they want that keyword to be in there. Um, though you can have different videos pop up on your homepage and that helps people get more views because when I keep looking for certain things, those topics are going to pop up on my homepage. Another thing, uh, YouTube likes it when you have a branding going on. A lot of people, um, they can see if they see your thumbnail pop up, your style, then they're going to and they liked other information that you put out, then naturally people are going to say, oh, I like that person. I'm going to go ahead and click their video, or that's a thumbnail that's sticking out for me. So YouTube does look at your description, does look at all those things, but it also uses your timestamp to help people find your video. This one I thought was done very well. The name of the video is called Influ influencer management 101 when to get a manager how to find a manager and get branding deals so she put a lot of keywords up there in her title but she also got very specific down here intro and meet my manager what do managers do that would be a question people would ask and on youtube and that is searchable so that's something people are looking for why do influencers need managers these are all questions when to find a manager how to find a manager team so she answers lots and lots of different questions which are all keywords that are going to help her video get found so i turned around did the same thing i had a video called how to feature other youtube channels on you on your channel and feature channels in 2021 and i went through i had to listen to my whole channel set up the timestamps but instead of just writing how to add a section how to move a section how to add feature channels i said how to add a section on channel customization page i made it more specific it, it's very very specific things that people are going to search for and it's going to help that video get found more now it doesn't just work on youtube topics i randomly looked up another one how to train your dog and when i did this one down here came up and it said there's nine key moments in the video and i clicked it i can go in and start that video at any one of these points and get a very specific question answered about training dogs training dogs is very broad so lots of videos came up but in those videos i had some key moments that popped up as well so if you want your video to be have a higher chance of being found more keywords 
in the video, in the description, then I highly suggest you do this. Now I've made a video. It's coming out next week on how to make that timestamp. I'm going to show you it step-by-step step, how to put that in there and what I do to get that timestamp in there. So make sure you, you stick around, come back next week and watch my video. After it comes out next week, I'll go ahead and put it in the description so you can get it. So if it's, if this is new and you're just watching it, stick around for next week. And if it's past that date, it will be in the description for you to check it out. All right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.